Can couples therapy solve sexual problems? What is the truth behind myths about loss of sexual interest in long-term relationships? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, couples therapy can be effective in resolving sexual problems when based on open communication and collaborative work. Sexual therapists are trained to address sexual issues and help couples overcome challenges. The loss of sexual interest in long-term relationships is not inevitable. Factors such as stress and routine may influence it, but effort, communication, and ongoing adaptation can maintain a satisfactory sexual life. The idea that passion diminishes over time is a myth. Many couples maintain an active and satisfying sexual life. Persistent sexual arousal syndrome. Some people experience a disorder known as persistent sexual arousal syndrome, characterized by continuous sexual arousal without desire. This can be extremely uncomfortable and may require treatment. Pleasure without sex. It's possible to experience sexual pleasure without the need for sexual intercourse. Erogenous stimulation of other body parts, such as the neck, breasts, or thighs, can lead to orgasm in some individuals. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Post-orgasm sensitivity. After an orgasm, some women may experience increased sensitivity in erogenous zones, making them more responsive to additional stimulation. Preparation and communication. Adequate preparation and open communication with the partner are crucial. Trust and consent are even more critical in anal sex. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Psychology of jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot achieve another orgasm or immediate erection. The duration of the refractory period can vary widely among individuals. Relation to G-spot stimulation. Some women report that anal stimulation can have indirect effects on G-spot stimulation and increase orgasm intensity. Relationship between stress and infertility. Chronic stress can affect fertility in both men and women. Stress can impact sperm quality, ovulation, and sexual response. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Science of kissing. A kiss can activate up to 34 different muscles in the face and burn between two and five calories per minute. Sense of humor. A good sense of humor can be very attractive to many women. The ability to make someone laugh is often considered a desirable quality. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases, such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis, can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sex and heart health. Regular sex can be beneficial for heart health. It has been shown that regular sexual activity reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. Sex and mental health. Mental health can affect sexual life. People experiencing depression, anxiety, or other disorders may undergo changes in sexual desire. Adequate therapy and support are essential. Sex and science. The science of sex, known as sexology, is a multidisciplinary field that explores human sexuality from a scientific perspective. Sexologists study a wide range of topics, from sexual anatomy to sexual therapy. Sex in dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex in space. 
As space exploration advances, questions arise about how sex will take place in space. Microgravity conditions may pose unique challenges for sexual activity. Sex in water, such as in a pool or bathtub, can be a common fantasy. However, water can remove the body's natural lubrication, leading to uncomfortable friction. Sexual desire in menopause. Menopause can affect women's sexual desire due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience increased sexual freedom after menopause. Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. Sexual therapy for hypoactive sexual desire disorder focuses on addressing the lack of interest in sex by identifying emotional and physical factors that may be contributing. Simulated orgasms. Some women have admitted to faking orgasms during sexual encounters. This may be due to various reasons, including social pressure or concerns about their partner's satisfaction. Smile. A sincere and kind smile is attractive to many people as it is associated with kindness and empathy. Speed of sperm during ejaculation, approximately 100 million sperm are expelled, capable of traveling at an astonishing speed of up to 18 kilometers per hour, thanks to muscular contractions. This speed is essential for competing in their race towards the egg. Studies on the clitoris. Despite the importance of the clitoris in female sexual response, there has been a lack of research on this organ compared to the penis. However, there has been an increased focus on clitoral research in recent years. Submission and domination games, known as BDSM, can be a consensual and safe way to explore intense fantasies and emotions in intimacy. Communication and respect are crucial in these practices. The association. Between financial stress and sex, financial stress can have a negative impact on couples' sex lives. Concerns about finances can decrease sexual desire and satisfaction. The effect of light on arousal. Ambient light can influence sexual arousal. Some people may feel more comfortable and secure with dim lighting, while others prefer total darkness. The choice depends on individual preferences. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration, while others may experience issues related to addiction. The influence of music on arousal. Music can be a powerful aphrodisiac. Various musical styles and songs can influence mood and sexual arousal. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. The internal clitoris. The clitoris is not just the small visible button at the top of the vulva. It has an internal structure that extends into depth. Stimulation of the internal clitoris can be an additional source of pleasure for some women. The relationship between sex and stress. Although stress can decrease sexual desire in some people, sex can be a powerful stress reducer. The release of endorphins during sex can help alleviate stress and anxiety. The science of kissing. Kissing is not only a display of affection, but also involves a complex chemical interaction. Kisses can increase the release of hormones related to bonding and pleasure. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.